if you're passionate for what you love and you're serious about it. When you see our cameras at the show, then we want to talk about it. Farewell the fans need not apply, we seek nerds that are true. Just beware not to piss us off, it's the one thing not to do. It's the angry, angry geek show. It's the angry, angry geek show. Angry. <laughs> and we're back at Rhode Island Comic Con, and I'm here with Raj is saying, "Hey, Bruce, Rage, a Rush, a Rush." Arash Zandia, also known as Hash. I was going to call him Rash Al Ghul, so that would have been kind of cool. Yeah, I could go with Rash Al Ghul. Yeah. I mean, it was better than... Well, I used to be running around called Aladdin a few times every now oh, and then. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. Then oh, I... Oh, I dropped an F-bomb. We're going to cancel that out. <laughs> and then at one point, I got to meet uh, Guy Sykes, who was the tour manager for Pantera and Shinedown. And I got dubbed Harold and Kumar with my brother and I. So... I can see that. You can see that. Have to hang out with Pantera or just the man? No, it was just the tour bag. Oh, I'm like, hold on. Was dime bag around? Like? Actually, funny story about the dime bag. I got a dime. That's not a dime bag story. <laughs> so, so you remember when they were doing the documentary DVD, yeah, yeah, Dime yeah. Vision? So it was three or four months before it was coming out. So I was under, uh, uh, I was under in the group of NASA management. I had a band, I was under their label, and we were from the big side, but we were still friends with the guys. So we got invited to the Shinedown, Godsmack, and Rob Zombie show. And we're hanging out there. What? Great he, show. He's it's a big fan of the Rob Zombie. You're a big fan of Rob Zombie? And I got a story with Rob Zombie too. It's just messed up. Like, you th I thought Lou was bad with name dropping. I came over here and he's just been like, yeah, I hung out with this guy and I get to hang out with this guy. Well, I did it with guy. Steve. Trent Reznor's uh, uh, artist for I, I don't mean to name drop, but we're in a combo convention and all everyone wants to hear is certain names and oh, artists. Oh, you mean like the guy that can't draw feet? How about 90, well, isn't like more than 70% of artists can't draw hands and feet and we still have to practice that every day? Well, you should have to practice it. I mean, you should be able to at some point. So, so it was several months before Dime, Dime Vision happened and my brother and I, we got invited because we had tickets to another show. Like the next day we were invited to, we were going to the same show anyway, but we had regular seat tickets. But we were invited to go backstage and hang out with the management team, which was like nine other people with a van going to the show. And we're going over there, and we're hanging in a trailer of um, we're hanging in a trailer of Shine Down. We're yep. eating pizzas, we're hanging out, shooting the shit, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, um, we start talking about. I got hungry, and I mentioned White Castle. Oh no! So <laughs> all right, that's, now that's, that's exactly why. Yes, I understand like now. Hit. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Was, was, hold on, was, was NPH with you guys too? No, it wasn't with us. Like, <laughs> that was the stalking yeah. part. So, so uh, 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 Brent, the lead singer, drove back with us. So everyone thought like we were all going to go to White Castle, like all like like a whole party of bus full of people going to White Castle. Mm, take some acid, you know, <laughs> something like that. Um, so um, so we left the tour. So we left the tour. Uh, we left the tour bus. We drove back to Long Island. So the next day, we see everyone and. Guy Sykes turns to me and says, "Dude, we got the White Castle on our way here. We, we 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 forgot your names and we decided to name you Harold and Kumar." That's funny though. So yeah. we decided to call you Harold and Kumar, and um, and actually he has my brother's phone number in his phone as saying Harold. Oh God. <laughs> That's I think it was he was the Harold or I was Kumar. It was one of the two. Like it, it didn't really matter, and then we got his phone number just to keep just to keep tabs and everything. Now, I hate to cut you off, but w we should talk about what we're doing here. <laughs> we could talk Evolution story. Comics. We are. I am Evolution Comics. Yes, this is. <laughs> I this do want to push some series. of your stuff. Yes. Like, oh, yes. and look, and we have energy drinks as well too. So we do everything. Is this is this better? Is, I mean, I mean, our drinks. The cameras keep turning that way. No, no, it I looks mean, like it's facing me. It's it looks not, like it's facing, facing more you. So, 
we do have our own comic. We we have created our own energy drink as well too. You see, we got coasters. coasters. You do not see. I should have a coaster. Well, no, no. Right see, 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 my business cards are also stickers as well too. Because that's a good idea. Because how many times you go to a convention and you you're given cars, everything, and you get energy drinks. I mean, all right. You just have to do it all. I, I like that. It, it, it's about the grind anyway. You yeah. Know, if you don't hustle, like everybody knows. If you don't hustle, you just end up being another right. face. Now, what's with everybody's art here? So, break the masses. Most right? of our art comes from an artist by the name of Troy Dante. So he started off doing illustrations like the Harley Quinn, the um, oh, he does the Daryl, yeah, nice. the the Joker piece, and then we started changing it up and going right to canvas pieces. <laughs> we started changing up. <laughs> Come on, man! And just like that, he gets a drink. Here, buddy. For you. Just. Watch it, that stuff's got some weird stuff in it. No. <laughs> if you like sweet tarts and you like Red Bull, that's the drink for you. It's, it's pretty much candy in a can. Uh, candy in a can. And we started doing more <laughs> canvas pieces. And uh, the uh, Tattoo Girl that's started off as a canvas cool, yes. piece and now it turned into a print. Another artist that we have is named Adam Salty. He did the Rainbow Dash piece. That's mine. That's, that's yours. Nice. <laughs> uh, he also did the Pokemon piece you see behind you. Uh, and he also did Slimer as well too. And we have did you have uh, Robin sign that? That would probably a good idea. That probably would have been a good idea. I will have whatever's remaining at Robin to sign yeah, you. <laughs> and we also she asked my, I gave her my phone number. <laughs> I really did. And I also, I also have Chris Campana piece as well too. Which is Who's Chris Campana? Piece. Chris Campana is like, I, I pretty much I heard the angry Camp piece. Agna. Camp right? Agna, Camp, Camp Nana Marama Ding Dong. <laughs> oh, the Viking guy. Oh, the camera, yes. He doesn't have Vikings in his book, but I believe there are. First World, you should get it. Yeah, get the First World edition. Uh, uh, second volume on Kickstarter. We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, who? What? We had seven minutes. Oh, that's okay. So have uh, fun. You have more tape? <laughs> And we also have Chris Campana's number one piece here as well too, Spider-Man and several other ones. Oh, well. that's cool. And more uh, artists to come. In in your book? In our book. We got Joseph... We have Joseph Carbone, Carbone. he's the writer. Julian. And Julian? Julian? Julian, yes. Okay, Aguilera? Yes, Julian. Any relation? No. Christina? No, not with really, any relation. I was relation. really hoping you could hook me up with that. that, that. <laughs> You're not oh. the only person to ask me about the Aguilera name. She's um, not even now. I don't like music, but God, she's hot. She's still gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, why? I mean... You and have also, my my, uh, my co-host will love this because I make fun of them because on the back of our press badges, there's a cute thing. I'm like, nobody has one of those anymore. It's very, it's very difficult because of, if, if you remember the Blackberry days. Yeah. That's yeah. where it all started with. So. Yeah, back <laughs> in some people, 1923. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and like even a few years ago, the barcode pretty much still yeah. did, try, did make a comeback, but not as great as, as it should have been. So we have Chronicles of Mary. You can pick it up now. Uh, oh. at evolutioncomicsinc.com so everything you can get at evolutioncomicsinc.com and you can also get it at badmonkeypdx.com as well too so there was magic there. you didn't see it but it was really it came down and then I threw it away it's good where'd it go? <laughs> no bring it back bring it back bring it back there you go like right here it's where you go all right, man. Thanks a lot. Anytime. We're, we're heading back out onto the floor. I, I, I will say this. As you guys being the angry geeks, you guys, I want more hustle. Where's the push? You know Where's what? Go to kick? hell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see everyone later. See you, Rhode Island. This has been a Fanboys Incorporated Network production. Found on fanboysinc.com, iTunes, and Stitcher Radio. Good night and geek on.